What is up, YouTubers, tooltubers of the world? This is Brad, and you have hit Tool Review Tuesday. Let's look at some clamps. All right, guys, this is going to be a real quick review because this product is fairly simple, right? It is their quick release bar clamps from Harbor Freight. Uh, there's some good things and some bad things. The good things is these are about half the cost of any other bar clamp this style you will find. Bessie, Pony, any of them really. And they're pretty damn good clamps. So I call these F clamps. They call them quick release bar clamps. They're great, man. They're, they're, you can move them quick forward and then they latch them back. Then you give the last little oomph with the little screw in part this is a molded rubber plastic with some hard plastic in it and you can exert quite a bit of clamping force they're not very expensive real quick we'll just run them down the six inch bars will cost you three dollars twelve four dollars thirty six inch will be eight dollars i know i just skipped around but 24 will be six dollars and the 18 will be five dollars now the 18 and 24s go on sale all the time for about a dollar off so you can just keep an eye out for those and that's usually when i buy them i love these clamps i won't switch to any other clamps except for when you start going above 36 or really even 24 i say just go get a pipe clamp this right here is a pipe clamp it's a clamp you buy it in two pieces, just these two here. And then you buy some black pipe and you cut the pipe down to any length you want. So you could have a 10 foot clamp essentially if you want. And uh, these things put in a good amount of clamping force. Uh, this is not the Harbor Freight one, even though Harbor Freight does sell one exactly like this. But for a dollar more, you can go out and get the Bessie, which is just a better brand name. So I figured I'd spend an extra dollar. Uh, you'll see I have a review of the half inch version of these at Harbor Freight. Stay away from those that don't have these little feet because the half inch version didn't seem to really grip onto the bar and this just kept moving back. Well, I take that back. I'll show you what the half inch ones are good for. So right here we have the half inch Harbor Freight clamp. And what I basically use this for is a quick carpenter's vise. Now eventually I want to put a piece of wood here and a piece of wood here you know to make it more like a real carpenter's vice which is why i got the eight inch nipple but this is a really cheap setup if you're in need of a quick vice and it's very mobile you just undo two screws so these clamps are pretty good for that of course i'm not using that back piece that constantly slipped but these are only six bucks a uh, nipple was like two bucks and i think this is like three bucks so i mean it's not bad very quick little mobile vice but back to the f-clamp these are like i said they're really great clamps they're really sturdy i mean there's no point in spending 25 bucks on a 12 inch clamp when you can get one at harbor freight for uh, what was it four dollars uh even three dollars when they put the the coupons out and the and the cool thing about it and now I, I don't believe it says it on the package i can't remember the little slip that are on these but these are lifetime warranty guys so if you break one, if one fails on you, you can take it back. But I've been using these for many months, and I haven't had one break or even come close to feeling like it wasn't working properly. The worst problem I have with it is these little tops come off. When you do get them, just go ahead and super glue these, this little part automatically or put some epoxy or whatever's going to hold that plastic to the metal. If you're in need of some clamps, go out and get you some of these. You can't beat the price. You can't beat the quality, especially. Because, you know, Harbor Freight is a little on their quality sometimes. But these are some good quality clamps, man. They feel good. The only thing I would rather, I would like to see is a little uh, bolster here. So if I ever really needed to put a lot of clamping power, or when I'm having to lay them flat, I could have put a wrench on there. That's the only thing I would like to see different on these. But for... A third of the cost to what other people were asking for these clamps and for as many clamps as you need when you're woodworking I'll, uh, I'll live with it I'll figure out another way 
So I hope you enjoyed this quick review. I mean, I know the clamps are pretty simple. For some reason, seems like I've done a lot of clamp videos lately. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, if you like my weekly Tuesday reviews, hit that like button for me. If you don't, just move along. Maybe next week's review will be for you. Of course, you can always hit that subscribe button. I get tired of asking. Oh, hit that subscribe button, but I really appreciate it. Almost up to 600 subs. In fact, by the time this video comes out, I might be past 600 subs. And I am shocked every day and incredibly thankful for all you people that like to listen to me ramble. Till next time, next Tuesday, or a special video may be coming. I'll holla at y'all later. Peace!